Yes, people, what you're saying, the most respected on YouTube, of course, uh, Dr. Rapport. Okay, first stop, Bruce Lee. All right. <laughs> so there's been a bit of a falling out today with um, Decker Heggy and the Shadow Boxer. Yeah, and as everybody knows, the Doc is not one to stick his nose in anyone else's business. But I thought I'd give you my little opinion on what I think about all this. Um, now, where do we start? Now, there's a bit of a bit of a problem because of Decker brought on Craig, yeah, onto the live, and um, Shadow Boxer feels that um, he was set up. Bloody, bloody, blah, blah, blah. Now. Well, I do agree with him on the one thought. I wouldn't have brought um, Craig on, but not for the not for the same reasons as Shadowbox. I feel um, Craig's been um, given too many chances. Yeah, um, Decker's been far too friendly to him, uh, far too um, respectful, and he's gone out of his way to um, try and make um, a Decker the butt of his um, humour, should we say, or his lack of humour. You know what I mean? A bit like he's. Um, these comedy stand-up shows, you know, they're they're a bit dead in the water as well. But um, anyway, yeah, Shadow Boxer was a bit of an odd one to me. He was a bit like um, that Joey, that Joey dude. Um, never quite trusted him completely. Didn't believe he was really Team Decker anyway, yeah. Um, I'm loyal to Decker because I like Decker. I know Decker's innocent. I know he's fucking been relentlessly bullied and trolled by a gang of odd, odds and sods, should we say, you know, the undateables. You've only got to look at the kip on all the bullies and the trolls to know, you know, who, whose side you will stand by, you know, unlike GNE, Jimmy, you know, the the weirdo, the weirdo. He's so um, quick to try and defend people like he's... Nemesis, the one that robbed him, conned him out of all that cash and all the other, all the other bully brigade, you know what I mean? g and &E, Jimmy is very naive, he's very simple, um, if, half the time you don't even know what he's going on about himself, he had to ch cheat, the bare, the bare face cheat to try and insult the legendary Cray Twins. Now if he, if he could accomplish even a quarter of their success, you know, he he would be a very lucky man. So I don't think he would have been saying that had they still been around and they've been in his prime. Do you know what I mean? Um, I mean, he's 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 another one, and he hiding in wherever. You know, fucking I don't know. Is it where is it? Thailand or something like that? And he ain't there. And he ain't there to practice martial arts. Let's put it this way. Um. Anyway, back to the point. I'm losing track. So yeah, a shadow boxer. Never once did he really come out and say, like, he's behind Decker, he supports Decker. It all just seems like a bit of um, a clout-chasing bollocks to me, like, like he's been doing with Dougie, yeah? Um, he doesn't seem really a fan of Dougie, a friend of Dougie. He's just using his name to build his channel, you know? And um, he, he just seems a bit, um, how can we put this in the nicest possible terms, a bit delusional, um... He's not going to be the new Conor McGregor. He's not going to be fighting anyone like Conor McGregor or Jake Paul. He's he's small time, you know, small time, 10,000 subs, you know. He's um somehow got his feathers in a twist and landed in the um, dark corner of YouTube full of, you know, the weirdos, the bullies, you know. <laughs> and, um, yeah, he's just jumped on Decker's channel to try and raise his own profile, but never once has he said he's backing Decker, never once has he said really he likes Decker, he supports Decker, he believes Decker, like all us lot do, yeah? We know Decker is ex absolutely being, you know, victimised by these um, undateable, you know, I mean, Quasimodo types that you see set all day on these lives, you know, and I, I'm, I'm not going to mention their names because... I think most people know, you know, about the uh, the little ginger wanker that's um, sat in um, Cambodia um, uh, off his tits on God knows what, you know, looking like a fucking corn-fed chicken, you know, and he's, a, he's absolutely, he's a bottom feeder, that one, and um, all the rest of them that have come after him have 
been, a, you know, they shouldn't even be given a platform, but, you know, they're bullies. They are bullies and they're scumbags. And, um, yeah, so I'm very, I've got to say, I'm very disappointed in um, Shadow Boxer. You know, to me, he's a bit of a turncoat. Another one that can't be trusted, a Judas, and uh, a bit like Joey the Judas. Um, yeah, all just out to... Next, next we'll be seeing Shadow Boxer jumping on all the trolls channels, you know, no doubt, you know, that's his, that's their way now, you know, they come on, somewhat befriend Decker, and then they jump all in that little circle to try and attack, you know, all, all absolute wrongs, you know what I mean, um, bullies, absolute bullies, the worst type of human beings you'll ever find, um, yeah, I don't know, um, that's about it, really. And um, also read um, the article about um, the Shadow Boxer. I've got to say, um, from all from the looks of it, he's a convicted wrong and so, you know, he has no... He has no redeeming qualities to speak of. You know, he's an absolute wrong and he, he is... Um, he's a beast. He's a beast. You know, just like G and E Jimmy... And all the other goofs are obsessed with beef, beasts, bacons, being a bacon enabler, just like that turnip guy. All that turnip guy comes on me comments rambling on about his beasts, bacons. Oh, it's so boring. Oh, they must sit up half the night talking to themselves about fucking bacon. You know that lot, that lot from all that certain part, you know, of England. You know, well, no, no, I wouldn't say England, you, the UK, they're all obsessed with fucking perverts. You know, it's it's become their life. You know, they were obsessed. You know, enjoy life. Stop worrying about fucking this one's that, this one's this. You know, it's an, oh, it's an absolute shit show. <laughs> Fuck yeah, now. I mean, do you know... They're fans. The funny thing is, they're all fans of Decker, but they won't admit it. They won't admit it. Just, just so they can keep their little bullion channels monetized and making some sort of content. Because without him, they would have nothing. Absolutely nothing, you know? Unlike myself, you know, who's often been regarded as a genius on this side of YouTube. You know, for the amount of times that I've managed to reinvent myself and stay irrelevant, while all the rest, all the rest are sinking quicker, quicker than fucking Jimmy Cranky's underpants, you know what I mean, <laughs> isn't that right buggies, <laughs> but no, that, um, yeah, you've got to say, extremely disappointed in um, that shadow boxer, uh, Decker's a good man, he's a, he's a trusted man, you know, he's a man of honour, a man of honour, a good guy, and for all the rest, do one.